Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I am Abby and this is for the love of knowledge. If you are new, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. And if you have already done that, thumbs up. We are in it to win it. All right, so you probably didn't see this coming, but I want to talk about the weather. In other parts of the world, there's summer, winter, autumn, and spring. But in Nigeria, there's the heat season, the rainy season, and the hamatan. And it's sad to say that some people aren't really clear about what to wear. So I'm here to present you with tips on how to dress for the weather so that you are confident, stylish, and protecting yourself from the harsh weather, whether it be cold or hot. Tips for the heat season. Wear light colored clothing. You don't want to wear black. Avoid the black. It would absorb heat rather than reflect it. Try colors like white, pink, sky blue, etc. They reflect light. You want to try those. Secondly, avoid tight clothing. You want your clothing to have room in them so that you can breathe and not be too tight. Trust me, you will not be comfortable. Choose breathable fabrics like linen, cotton, silk, chiffon material. These are suitable for the hot weather. Also, when dressing to work, ladies, take this advice from me. It's for free. Try a one-piece garment. You know, like a wrap dress or a jumpsuit. Yeah, that will do greatly. And just to keep your style on flick while you're protecting your eyes from the sun, get cool sunglasses. You can never go wrong with them. Also get an umbrella. It's fashionable too. Tips for the rainy weather or the hamatan. Get yourself a good rain boot just in case you have to walk a distance and you don't want to spoil your shoes. So wear your rain boot. When you get to where you're going, you can put your shoes back on. Also layer your outfit. If you stay in a place like Joss, I don't need to say so much because you need to layer your outfit. You can put a beautiful jacket or a blazer or a coat on that dress that you're wearing. Absolutely great. Also get an umbrella for the rain. Still trending, isn't it? Wear a scarf in place of a jewelry. Get gloves for your hands. Keep a lip balm close by because you don't want your lips breaking in the hamatan. And at this point, I need to say this. Your hairdo is not top priority. Because you don't want your hair getting wet in the rain or getting all dusted by the hamatan. So to protect your hair, get a beautiful hair bonnet or a bucket hat. When you get to where you're going, you can always take it off. But if you have to walk a distance, put the bonnet on. If you're outside the country, just in time for autumn, autumn is all about style. It's a perfect blend between summer and winter. So you just have to stylishly mix the two. You can try a beautiful jean with a shirt and a black or gray coat that says, Hello, Autumn. I just got here. Absolutely cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, part two. What is she saying? We've never had For the Love of Knowledge do a part two. Well, we do for today. And I want to talk about colors. Yes, every color has a meaning or an interpretation. And I just want to get us up to date with it so that we know what certain colors mean. You can always research the rest online because I just have only but a few. All right, so gray says compromise, practical, or in control. Red says passion, love, anger, danger. Orange says energy, happiness, vitality. Yellow also says happiness and hope, but sometimes yellow can mean deceit. Green says new beginning, abundance, or nature. Turquoise says calmness and clarity. And I can give you this one for free. I have worn a turquoise dress that I really felt so calm in. Like the atmosphere around me was really cool and collected. That color gives you that effect. Blue says trust and loyalty. Pink says love, compassion, femininity. So you can ask an average girl what her favorite color is. And the first three, I trust you, there will be pink in it. Mm -hmm. 
White says purity, innocence, perfection. Brown says stability, honesty, and comfort. Purple says royalty, mystery, or spirituality. And then there's black. Black in Nigeria or sometimes Africa generally is often misinterpreted to be evil or bad. But how about we look at it from this perspective? Black says elegance, sophistication, power. So when I put on a black dress, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm evil. I'm only trying to pass a message of elegance, sophistication. And that's not a bad thing now, is it? No, it's not. So with this little knowledge passed across, you can easily make an attempt to interpret a person's mood or what they're trying to say by the color of clothing they're wearing. Or you too can try to pass a message by the color of dress you're wearing. So when someone puts on a red dress and goes for an event, they could either be saying, oh, love, passion, you know, or they could be saying, hey, watch out because I'm dangerous. It could be any of those. Or a person who puts on a white dress, she could just be trying to pass the message of purity, innocence, you know, perfection. You can easily interpret colors with this. Did you enjoy that? I bet you did. So, leave me a like. Those golden comments of yours. Share. And get others to share as well. And subscribe too. Because trust me, this is a moving train that ain't stopping. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram and the rest of them. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.